Okay, today we are going to be looking at making a door for the UDK and importing into the UDK so that it swings not just one way but both ways. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that, how to code it, and how to get an understanding of doors. So here I have a door and what I'm going to do is get this to the middle of the grid, X on the keyboard allows me to snap that to the grid post and then I have it snapped right here. I also have that corner post or the pivot point in the corner. You can do that by dog victor, so DV on the keyboard. It allows me to move the pivot point anywhere. So DV to move the pivot point, X to snap it to the grid. Good. Now I'm going to treat this as actually my left door even though it's on my right side. Okay, and I'll show you why. So I'm going to call this left door. And then I'm going to duplicate it. So shift D to duplicate it. Dog Victor and then X. Again, snapping it to the center of the grid. And just make sure that's absolutely snapped. Yes, it is. Good. So this is going to be my left door. This one's going to be my right door. I know. That's weird, right? Because it's on my left. But the pivot point, if I was to go like this, check this out. So when I get it in game, I'm going to just move this one over and this one's going to be my right door with a hinge. This one's going to be my left door with a hinge. That's why. Okay, so I'm just going to undo and move that back. Okay, so I'll export this out. As an FBX. Notice my FBX is not on. Good me a chance to show you where that's at. So settings and preferences, plugin manager, and choose FBX Maya. Close that out. And I'll export selection. Doors. FBX. And I'll name that left door FBX. And this one I'm going to export as right door. Another thing you should be wary of is scale. Uh, so if you go to grid, square box, and type in 132, 1. and close and jump into like let's say a view like this you'll find that I have four 32 grid spacing and that will equal the height of the player okay a with a little bit of overhang because if you think about it you know when you walk through a door it does have what a couple feet before you hit your head so, so that works out quite well All right, now let's go in here to the UDK. And I'm just going to import those doors in. Good. Now I do have a door material and that is going to be up here. This one right here. So what I'll do is copy that.
and then I'll come down here to these door models and plop them in. So there's my left door and here's my right door. So here's my right door, double click on that, bring it up as a static mesh, make a collision, and then instantly come over here to my LOD information and plop in that, that color map. If it doesn't plop in, um, I might have to go back and just highlight that material and then go in here and hit this button. Yeah, there we go. That works out quite well. So plain and simple little door. Okay, close that out. Next, let's do that with the other door. And here's naming convention at its best. So if I would have named it something like uh, a beginning letter for each one, they would have been right next to each other. And that helps, but I did not do that. I put left and right, so in alphabetical order, it kind of screwed that up. So let's get into this static mesh. Again, go up, highlight my material. Plop that material in. And then also make a collision. Okay, I'm going to start out with a new scene, just something simple like this nightlight one. And let's plop these two doors in. Here's my left door. There's my right door. Okay, I'll hop into the top view. And hit home. Oh. Now my camera is really, really, really sensitive. So I'm going to turn that down when I do this. And if I can't find my model, I always tell students to go to your content browser and just look for scene. And you'll find like a static mesh actor. And that way you can hit home on the number pad or by the number pad there. And you should be able to go right to that. So that's a neat little shortcut in case you get lost. So I get these doors are really thin, but they will work. And what I want to do here is line these up. So they're like this. Perfect. Now there's a gap in between them. We can counteract the gap by hitting the bracket key a few times and making my grid spacing just a little bit more so I can snap these together. Now, if I can't get it to perfectly snap next to each other, uh, that's the grid spacing screwing with me. And I could take off snapping by going into here. And now I can move them closer together. Then I can click that back on. Perfect. All right, now that we have our models in game, and they got good pivot points. Let's go on to the next video where I show you how to toggle them so they open. And then I'll show you another video where we can toggle them how to open and close uh, via, like, if they open in, what happens if I'm on the inside of the uh, place and they want them to go out? Kind of like a saloon door approach to it. All right, so in the next video, I'll show you how that works.